Retail Nights, Retail Nights, Retail Nights Station here. Do you like old games? Yeah. I kind of do too, and for those of you who grew up in, let, let's see, I'm gonna say could remember stuff from at least 1995 or before, remember Oregon Trail! Oh my god, was, I, was, I was 90s kids. If you were in elementary school in the 90s, you totally remember playing this in a school. Yeah. <laughs> so, I am going to revisit this game from my childhood. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be some fun, fun, fun in the sun. Okay, so basically this was an educational game to have you travel the Oregon Trail. What you're doing is you're trying to survive the journey. Let's travel the trail. You're about to begin a great adventure, traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. Your covered wagon, pulled by a team of oxen, will travel from Independence, Missouri to the fertile Willamette Valley of the Oregon Territory, a journey of approximately 2,000 miles. Before you set off on the trail, register your name, the names of the members of your wagon party, and your occupation. After that, you'll need to buy supplies and make other important decisions. Good luck! Thanks. My course. You need to write down them. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna need a doctor. <laughs> Gustav. Mildred. Gunter. Strong bad. Cause why the fuck not? Fuck. I have twelve hundred dollars. Oh my god. That would barely last a month in the now times. So if we got technically five people, ten sets of clothing, boxes of bullets. You know what, actually, let's go ahead and make it 20. I'm gonna go six boxes of bullets, food. See, we already spent half of our budget. Wagon tongs. Three, three, three. Oh, cool, we haven't spent all of it yet. All right, so because of that, we're gonna go 60. Oh, we're $8 over. Oh, just max 50. Herder, that would make sense. So we're still $8 over. <laughs> okay, let's decrease this to four. All right, let's hope we made a good decision. You need to decide when to set off on the trail. If you leave too early, there won't be much grass for your oxen to eat. You may encounter some very cold weather and late spring snowstorms. But if you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter, which can be very dangerous. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and, for the most part, mild weather. When do you want to start? Well, let's see, in the north, August is when it starts cooling down. <laughs> Here in California, nah, it's only July, and it's not the hot months yet. So let's see, let's leave in opera. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you started down the trail with four rocks and fifty sets of clothing. 1,980 bullets, three wagon wheels, three wagon axles, three wagon tongues, and 1,000 pounds of food! <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Thanks! Let's go. Okay, so we're going down the trail, going down the trail, going down, uh-uh-uh-uh, going down the trail, going down the trail, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, going, 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 uh 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 You took the wrong trail. Thanks. Okay, just backtrack then, stupid. Oh no, a river! You have reached the Kansas River crossing. You must cross the river to continue. The river is currently 622 feet wide and 4 feet deep. Attempt to ford the river, cock the wagon and float it, take a ferry. Fuck. 4 feet deep, huh? Yeah, you can walk that, come on, mate. Huh? Huh? No! <laughs> Damn! We all drowned! I lost an ox. Well, at least we didn't all drown. You took the wrong trail. Thanks! How much food we got? Health, good. Wagon, delayed. Rations, filling. Wagon, moving. Weather, cloudy and kinda warm. Landmark, 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 landmark! You have reached the Big Blue River crossing. 227 feet wide and 2 feet deep. Let's cock the fucking wagon. Cock it. Cock it, cock it, cock it, and drop it, and, and, and drop it. Woo! You got it! 
I'm having a safe! You made a safe way! I'm having so much fun. You have reached Fort Kearney. Cool. I think we should hunt you. Deer! Deer! Elk! Buffalo! Majestic Buffalo. Hi! My name's Steve! I'm a Majestic Squirrel! One more buffalo. Yay. You shot every time you can and you're ready to use eight bullets! You won't be able to carry your the what?! Oh, thanks! What a waste of hunting and food. I'm a vegetarian and I love animals and I'm just like, virtual buffalo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> totally just left them there to rot. Hopefully it'll be food or something for some other- <laughs> Stop taking the wrong trail! YOLO, right? Am I right? YOLO. Let's name our oxen. We got three oxen left. Let's call one... Stan? One... We've lost the trail. Awesome. That is, I totally... So, so, so we got Stan, Hymendinger, we've reached Chimney Rock, and let's name our third oxen... I don't, I don't know what to call the third oxen. Stan, Hymendinger, and... Oh. You still only have 132. Never mind. <laughs> Rations. I'm gonna be meager. Let's see. Our third oxen will be called Gerald! Yes. Let's continue. <gasps> we found some wild fruit! Hunting, 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 hunting. I almost shot that rock right there because I actually thought it was a turtle. Hey! I don't want a buffalo. Die! Some vegetarian you are, Raytana. How come we're only able to carry two? Fuck you! It's partly cloudy. Strongbat is broken in arm! Oh no! <laughs> no, strong bad why? I told you you couldn't type with boxing gloves on your hands. Independence Rock. Can I still trade? What do I want to get by trading? 200? Sorry, but nobody here's got $200 to spare. No water? No water? No grass? No grass? No water. Maybe I should have left earlier. Bad water. Fuck. Let's not get dysentery. That's diarrhea. <laughs> strong bad. Strong bad what? Strong bad what? Yeah, I know, he's got a broken arm. Strong bad what? No water. No water. Can I, like, heal you? No! Mildred is sick with typhoid fever? We were able to grab it to fix it. Shit. My family and I'll travel with 40 other families to the valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Back East, Mormons are persecuted. In Utah, we'll join together to build a new community, changing desert into farmland, and be totally against homosexual relationships. Does anybody have any medicine? Can I have $100? I'll trade you $100 for still four sets of clothing. You have 50 sets of clothing. Yes. Let's rest. To typhoid. What cures typhoid? Y you don't just get over that. Do you? Head to Fort Brigger to buy supplies, take a shortcut to the Green River. No, we going to Fort, yo. We got a broken arm, we got the typhoid. Found two sets of clothing, 58 bullets, three wagon axles, and one wagon top, and an abandoned wagon! No water. You found some wild fruit. It ain't scurvy, yo. Mildred is well again! I guess fruit does help typhoid. Strong bad as well again as well. Well, that's a fast healing arm there. Tell you what, for the times we live in. Let's see. What you got, what you got, what you got. Well, let's buy another ox in. Another ox. Sorry. We're all in very poor condition. Let's change the ra rations. We have, we've got food. There's some wild fruit. Let's go hunting. What can we find in this here desert? What's that? Oh, I thought I saw something move. Hiya! Aw. <laughs> Shoot where it's gonna be, not where it is. <laughs> Good! Those are fucking heavy fucking deer! Hey, fine, next time I'll just kill one. <laughs> no grass for the oxen. Gunter got lost! Gunter! No! More bad water. See, I love how it changed from poor to fair. Aw. <laughs> when I changed the rations. <laughs>